Telephone first is an access model, um, which as a practice we've now been doing for three and a half years. Um, it's become necessary to implement a new access model because of the insurmountable uh, constraints on general practice for, for many reasons. Uh, we just simply can't provide enough appointments. So that's why we've uh, turned to the telephone first model. It's quite simple um, in its essence. It's uh, simply the patient phoning in, asking for an appointment, and being told that at the moment we're not offering that appointment, but we are offering a call back by the GP. The patient then is invited to give uh, their demographics, their telephone contact, a time that the telephone call can be made back to them, and short details of the problem if they're willing to give that. It's fundamentally flexible, so we can put doctors on, take doctors off, the system at a literally a moment's notice with one hour to spare we can change the direction of patients so that callbacks can be given by other GPs. We can bolt on other clinicians to the system so locums can be put on easily, registrars can be put on easily, we can add on other clinical staff such as pharmacists, physiotherapists, um, counsellors, any number of other clinicians can be bolted on. Another advantage that we find is um, an incredible drop in our non-attendance rate. In the old days, um, over 10 years ago, my personal non-attendance rate was up to 30% uh, because people were booking too far ahead and simply forgetting their appointments. Um, on this system it's about 0.5% because the appointments are given on the day for the day and if I'm honest the patients are highly motivated to attend. The appointment is booked directly with them and they generally don't forget. Initially, three and a half years ago, it was met with some dismay. Um, there was no doubt patients liked to be able to ring and just have their appointment. But gradually, over the weeks and months, we explained why this wasn't possible and why we needed to speak to the patients first. And then finally, now at three and a half years into the new system, I am firmly of the belief that patients love it because it's in inevitably more efficient for them too. Um, most of them actually don't want to come in unless they have to, um, and we can solve well over 60% of the problems on the phone without the patient having to leave work or their home. And if you're not feeling very well at the time, that's maybe a good thing. And of course, from the health point of view, who would have 20 or 30 patients in a waiting room swapping their viruses? So it's better from a health point of view as well.